Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and create your AWS account. Uh, now, originally, I'd planned on doing a uh, video on the account creation, setting up uh, you know your budget alerts, and doing some uh, security best practices for the account itself. Uh, but I thought it'd be better to uh, kind of break these down into uh, little smaller video sections. It'd be easier to reference in the future, and I uh, won't make this video uh, half an hour long. Uh, so this one will just be focused on creating the AWS account first. Uh, so let's dive in. Now to get started with creating our AWS account, we just want to go to the aws.amazon.com site and then pick this uh, create an AWS account button. So now we just need to enter a uh, root user email address. Uh, the root user is essentially the, uh, the account owner email address. Uh, so I'm just going to enter in my mike at cloudvikings.io email address. And then we need to uh, provide a account name. I'm just going to call this the one uh, Cloud Vikings demo. Then we just go pick this uh, verify email address. So now AWS is going to send you a verification code to the email address you used as the root user. Uh, so check that inbox and then uh, paste that code into this verification code area. So I'm just going to enter my code. And then hit verify. Now we just need to create the password for our root user. Uh, I'd suggest using a very complex password for the root user for your AWS account. Uh, make it, uh, you know, long password, uh, uppercase, lowercase, special characters, numbers. If you have a password manager that can generate secure, unique passwords, I'd suggest using that as well. So in my case, I've used my uh, password manager to create a complex password, so I'm just going to paste that in. Now we simply uh, add our contact information to the page. Now, if your intent is just to use this AWS account for learning AWS or for this course, I suggest you pick this uh, personal account option here. And we'll just enter our name. And then our phone number. Country. And our address information then hit continue to go to uh, step three. Now you will need to add a credit card here to uh, create your AWS account. And this is what AWS will bill uh, for your uh, usage that you have in the AWS account. Uh, now, if you're just learning AWS or creating this account for the scope of the course, a lot of the resources uh, you can use, it will be a part of the AWS free tier. But just be aware that whatever credit card you add to the AWS account uh, would be responsible for any uh, usage charges by AWS. Now, after you create the account here, uh, I'd suggest taking some time to uh, review the AWS free tier, uh, figure out what resources are part of it and uh, what kind of instance types and things like that, uh, just so you're aware of what you'd be charged for and what would be classified under that uh, AWS free tier. So I'll go ahead and add my card information. And then do the uh, verify and continue. Now AWS is just going to confirm our identity by sending us a verification code, uh, either through text message or through a voice call. Uh, this will just be an automated call, but the text message method is probably the simplest. So we just go ahead and enter a phone number again. And then enter this uh, security check code. Then we're just going to send the uh, text message in our case. And it looks like I got the uh, CAPTCHA security check wrong, so I'm going to try that again. There we go. So I'm just going to wait for that text message to arrive and then enter that code here. Now as the final step here, AWS gives us a few options to pick a support plan for the AWS account. Now, assuming you're just going to use this account uh, for your own personal learning or uh, just for this course, uh, you'll likely want the free basic support plan. And then as you can see with the basic support plan, uh, if you need any help with AWS, they offer a lot of self-service resources uh, within this tier. And you can certainly contact them if there's any sort of account or billing issues uh, that you encounter. Now, if you are going to be using this account for business use, uh, you can certainly pick the developer, uh, business support, or even the enterprise level. Uh, depending on your uh, support needs. 
So again, in our example here, we're just going to be using this for the core. So uh, we're just going to stick with this free uh, basic support plan and then complete our signup. And that's it. Congratulations, you created a new AWS account. Uh, so now we can just go to the AWS Management Console to log in. Now, when you first create the account, you want to be logging in again as the root user. Um, you just enter the email address here that you used to sign up with. And then hit next. And then enter the password that you created for the root user. And now we logged into the management console for a brand new AWS account. And uh, that's it. Uh, in the next few lessons, we'll be looking at uh, securing this uh, brand new AWS account with multi-factor authentication and setting up uh, IAM users. We'll explain what all that stuff is in those lessons. And then we'll also go ahead and create an AWS account budget so that we're uh, notified if there's any kind of unusual costs occurring in our account. So that's it for now on creating a brand new AWS account. See you in the next lessons.